Hiya, welcome back. Look at this. It is absolutely beautiful out here today and it's a brand new mark for me as well, so I'm really excited. I'm at North Berwick and I'm going to fish Craig Leith. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I've got that wrong, I do apologise. We're going to be targeting cod, wrasse and pollock today. I've got the weedless shads on. Let's get over there and see how we do. Right. So here we'll go. First drop. Um, I've tucked in along the edge of the cliff. There's some deeper water over there. I think I'm going to drift that way. I'm not sure yet. We'll, uh, we'll get down there and we'll see what happens. But I've got the, uh, the old power sardine on again because we had so much fun with it at Port Logan. I'm going to get straight down there and see how we do. Oh, that water's lovely and clear. I think I'm drifting that way, actually, so I'll probably end up resetting this drift in about five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to stick a metal on for just a moment just to see what on earth is going on because there's stuff all over the sounder but I'm not hooking it. A metal is a sort of a good old rounder and uh, if you're having a bit of trouble working out what's down there stick the metal on. I mean it's a bit risky because the ground's pretty rank but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So I've got a little 25 gram we'll do that for now. That might be a bit less snaggy. If nothing hits the metal. Ah, I'm in. I thought there was stuff underneath us. I just couldn't work out what it was. I think it's mackerel, you know. Let's get it up and have a look. <laughs> it's not a mackerel, is it? Have I foul hooked a mackerel? I've done that a few times recently. Yep, I have. That's why it felt like a tuna. Right, come here, pal. We'll get you away. Just got him slightly in the back there, you'll be fine. Calm your jets. Calm your jets. There was an absolute shed load of fish underneath us. I knew there was, which is why I stuck the uh, metal on, because I didn't seem to be getting any joy. Right, I'm going to see if I can get straight through them down onto the seabed without getting... Oh, got one straight away. No, it's got off. Good. No, it's on. Oh, damn it. <laughs> right, I might have to take the metal off again, otherwise we'll just be doing this for the next half an hour. <laughs> Come on, mate. I knew there was a shed load of something underneath us, but uh, as I said, I wasn't hooping them, so I thought, stick the metal on and then you'll find out what they are. Right, I'll go, I'll see if I can get through the other side of them. See if I can get down to the bottom. Nope. Oh yeah, I did. I got to the. I got through them. I think. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> right. I'm not going to do this forever. I'm going to have to take the. Uh, I'm not going to take the metal off. Otherwise, I'll just be doing mackerel all day and as much fun as this is it's not what you want to watch is it you want to see big cod and pollock gosh the mackerel are quite chunky aren't they this year all of the mackerel I've caught have been massive look at that see you buddy as you can see there there's a sea fret rolling in and it's rolled in right along the front of the beach there so i'm just going to get a little bit closer to the side to the to the uh to the beach and uh hang out there until this till this fog lifts right honestly i'm close to quitting so i'm going to just have a cast around with it this for a while and then we'll see how we do and if there's no no improvement in the fishing we'll go and try inshore for a little bit and if we're getting out then that's it i'm, I'm going back in the van i'm going to go and get fish and chips oh i'm in 
Oh, I'm in. Prop my fish, I think. Get in. <laughs> well, it's taken a blooming while, hasn't it? Goodness me, what have we got? Let's get it up and have a look at it. Let's get it up and have a look at it. <laughs> We've got a codlin. Thank goodness. <laughs> hey, I thought we were only going to get the mackerel today and nothing else. Well, I can only hope that that's the beginning of the of the fishing because it would be nice to think that we could get a few more wouldn't it let's have a little look at him there he is what a lovely color isn't he very dark right let's get that down see you pal oh at last a fish eh? <laughs> oh i'm in <laughs> get in oh this feels all right what have we got here let's get this up me yeah uh, me drags quite loose but uh oh what is it tighten that up a little bit oh this is good well, this feels all right what have we got hope the seals don't come and nick it off us <laughs> hey this actually feels quite nice this what is it <laughs> it's a beauty. Look at that. <laughs> Get in. Oh, hey. Look at the size of this fella. What an absolute lump. Oh, let's get this hook out. Calm down. I need to calm down. Get the hook out and give you a look at this lad. Look at him, I tell you what, I'm going to just straighten that camera up a little bit so you can see him. We'll not keep him out of the water too long, but look at that. What an absolute beauty, look at it, man. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased to see that. God, he's a fatty, this lad. Brilliant, right. We'll get him away. See you, pal. Oh, get in. Well, there you go. Perseverance, eh? We got there in the end. Right. Well, I'm feeling buoyed now because that's a couple of cod we've had off this corner. So I'm just going to keep going. Keep dropping down and keep reeling in and see how we do. Got another hour or two in as yet, I think. Hey, it's amazing what a couple of fish can do for your confidence, isn't it? Right. Let's uh, get back down there. See if we can grab another one of those lovely cod. That would be nice, wouldn't it? They're all a lovely dark colour, aren't they? Well, I say all, both of them. Let's get the old uh, blood worm on. I sprayed most of that on my hand. That's going to be nice. Later on tonight, in the barn. Ah, oh, damn it. This stuff does stink like, and it doesn't come off, so. <laughs> Jeez. The bloodworm one's not too bad, it just smells a bit like steak. I don't know what that says about steak. Something had a little go there. Oh, I'm in! <laughs> Get in! And it's not a mackerel again. Oh, I wonder if this is a codlin. It's having a good battle. It's having a good pull, I should say. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Oh, this is good, isn't it? At last, started hitting fish. Oh, it's a pollock. Get in. <laughs> Brilliant. So we've gone from nothing to a canny day's fishing in the space of two drifts. So that's good, isn't it? Look at that. Let's get him up and have a look. Get him unhooked so we can have a look at him, I should say. There he is. He's a good looking lad, isn't he? Hey. Eh? Right, we'll see you later, pal. And he's off. He wasn't messing around, was he? I've just had a hit of something else, which I missed. Let us get back down then, have another go. Oh, I'm in. Get in. <laughs> oh, 
are brilliant well this has certainly picked up hasn't it we were uh, we were in dire straits earlier on and now now we're doing all right so I just missed one there and then let it drop back down to the bottom what have we got I'm gonna say coddling by the way it's behaving itself I can't see it yet and it is <laughs> oh I'm really pleased I think it's more fun when you've really struggled and all of a sudden you start catching gives you a little kick doesn't it a little hit of the happy stuff oh I'm in again <laughs> brilliant oh it's having a bit of a dive this lad oh my drag might be a little bit tight now actually I tightened it up before what have we got oh this is good isn't it hey eh? I'm really pleased with this I'm really happy with the way it's turned out like after the start were hard get up oh he's not that keen on coming up yeah this lad I think this is going to be a pollock you know let's get it up and have a look at it <laughs> look at that <laughs> what a beaut hey we've had some fish out haven't we on these last few drifts there's a seal there eyeing this up look at that man what an absolute beauty oh i'm really pleased with that he put up a good scrap didn't he well we'll not mess around with him we'll get him back down see you later pal and he's away oh <laughs> get in hey i'm a little bit excited now you might have guessed I'm just going to uh, have another squirt of the blood worm because it seems to be doing the trick. Let's get down there, get another one. It's hard to believe we're in the same place that we were in this morning when we couldn't catch anything. Oh, in again! <laughs> oh, am I snagged? Oh, I think I'm snagged. I was getting a little bit excited there. Right, let's go and see if we can pull it out the other side. Not so much to save the lure, because the lure's nearly shot, but uh, more so so that I can uh, avoid having to completely re-rig again. Did I get it? I don't think so. Well, what a good run with that lure, didn't we? Again, we didn't lose it at the braid, though. We lost it. at the fluoro. I'm really impressed with this spider wire. Right, I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, I'm in. Oh, get in. This is quite nice. Oh, unless I'm snagged. I don't want to be snagged again. No, this is a fish. Bloody hell. Oh, God, this is massive. <gasps> Goodness me. Oh, 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 oh. I can barely make ground on this thing. Look at the bend in that rod, man. <laughs> wow. Let's get this up and have a look at it. Gosh, my arm is absolutely knacking. Blooming heck. Oh, I'm dying to see this. Oh, it's not ready to come up just yet. <laughs> it's huge. It is huge. Jeez Louise, look at this thing. Bloody hell. Right, let's get this. Uh, let's make sure you're ready to see this because it is another monster. Look at that. <laughs> get in. Hey, we've had some fish out here today, haven't we? Ow, that's me finger. Right, if you just cool your jets, pal. I'll get in there and we'll get this out and then you can go on your way. Right, I'm going to have to get my uh, glasses on. My dry suit is now going to absolutely stink a cod. I'm going to have to get my glasses on and get the forceps out. 
right but he's fine he's gonna go back all right because it's just d far down it's not in a bad spot where is it there we go there we go i think anyway is that it have i got it there let me get this uh all right okay there we are i've seen it We'll get you there, mate. Don't you worry. Oi, oi, oi. Hold your horses. We'll get you. We'll get you away. There we go. It's out. And there's no blood, so he's going back all right. Get in. Look at him. What an absolute beauty. Eh? Let's get me specs off so you can have a proper see. There you go. Right, I'll not mess around. We'll get him away. And he's off. Get in. <laughs> he's absolutely knacked the trace though. I'm gonna have to change the fluorocarbon. Look what he's done to it. Right. Bear with us, I'll be back with you in a minute. So I'm just sprinting back to the start of that drift. It's amazing how fast a day can turn around, you know. It was awful this morning. We're out here for hours with nothing. Mackerel after mackerel after mackerel. Then all of a sudden it's just switched on, hasn't it? And we're gonna stay hugging this cliff again because this is where all the fish have been. So uh, yeah, we're here now. Let's have a go. Oh, I have to put the camera in a better position though. You'll not see a lot from there. There we go. I'm going to stick a little bit more bloodworm on because, uh, well, why wouldn't you? After the few drifts we've had, I am excited. My excitement level's gone from zero to ten in no time. Oh, I'm in. I thought something weird was happening. I couldn't work out what was going on there. <laughs> I thought I was just getting hassled on the way down because uh, whenever I checked the reel, there wasn't a bend in the rod and I couldn't feel anything, but then it felt like I was getting hit as I was going down. There we are. So I wonder if the bloodworm is the secret then, eh? Another beautiful, dark-looking fish. His eyes are sort of glowing orange against that dark skin there look don't know if you'll be able to see on the gopro but uh perfectly formed him what a beaut well we should have another squirt then if that's the case shouldn't we so we've reset that drift um let's hope we can pull up another few chunky monkeys because it has gone a little bit quiet now the tide's nearly stopped running though so i wonder if things will pick up again when the tide turns around i'm using a different reel today I'm not using the slammer, I'm using the pen spin fisher mark six. I'm using it in a two and a half thousand size and uh, I've really enjoyed it actually. It's sealed as well, it's IPX5, so it's another one of the pen sealed reels and uh, yeah, the drag's been great on it, hasn't it? Because we've had some pretty chunky fish on and it's been really smooth, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was snagged again. That's a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> here we go get in let's get it up and have a look at it eh? what have we got I think it feels like a codlin and it is it's another beautiful codlin oh, they're such a lovely colour around here aren't they they're a bit, a uh, bit more of a sort of a dark bronze than a red. They're normally quite red on my stretch of the coast in Northumberland, but these are absolutely beautiful. Really dark bellies on them as well. Look at that. We'll get you back, mate. 
Right, that's it, I'm heading in. Hey, what a fantastic day we've had, eh? Game of two halves, mind. It was absolutely diabolical this morning, but we've had a fantastic afternoon. Totally worth the trip. We've had some monsters out, haven't we? Some lovely fish there today. I'm really pleased with that. Listen, do us a favour, would you, and subscribe to the channel. I know I bang on about it, but it does make a big difference to that old YouTube algorithm, you know. Another thing that really helps is a thumbs up. So please, if you've liked the video, give it one of them. And uh, if you want to ask us a question, say hello, suggest a venue, whatever, just do that in the comments down below, because I always reply. Oh, and don't forget, you've still got your 10% off at Galaxy Kayaks UK with a channel discount code, which is OTD10. I'll catch you next time.